So within Studio, I'm going to open a package that was created in Studio 2009, like this. So that's my package opened. And if I open the files up in Studio, you get this unexpected error and a couple of object reference errors, finally leaving you with something that says checkout required and you can't actually do anything with this at all. You can't translate, you can't do anything. So what you have to do to resolve this error is to add a file type to this project settings that matches the file type that was used to create the file in your project. The, the problem is actually caused because Studio doesn't recognize the file type. So if you see this orange tab here while I've got the file open, the orange tab can show you in tag ID mode what the file type settings are. At the moment, it's just showing me the name of the file type in each case. But if I click on view and go over to here and I switch to tag ID mode, which is this one, if you watch the orange tabs, that changes and now tells you the name of the file, type, the file ID or the file type identifier. So notice it says copy of XML version 1.3.0.0. There is another way to see that. If I close that, and I come down to the files view, and I click on the file in question, you can see here in the file details view down here, file type identifier, tells me the same thing, copy of XML version 1.3.0.0. So if I go to my project settings, I'll just move them out of the way a bit so I can continue to see the name there. In my file types, I haven't actually got a file type that matches that. So what I need to do is to create one with that ID. So to do it, it's very simple. I just create on new, XML, embedded content will do. The file type name can be anything you like. So I'll just call it prosfix. The file type identifier needs to match whatever it says there. Now in my case, it's already come up with the, uh, with the correct, correct format. That doesn't matter, it might not be the same in yours. If it's not the same, you need to type whatever it says there exactly as it's written into here. And when you've done that, you click through, just keep clicking through and finishing. So don't do anything fancy. You've now created a new file type and you can see it's there and you can double check. If you go to the detection to the pros file, you can double check the file type identifier should say whatever it says down there. Once you've done that, you can now open up the file again, and this time it works perfectly. You can translate it, confirm it, save the file, and you can create your return package. All done. So nice and straightforward, very simple, and you can fix it yourself without having to speak to your customer. I hope that was useful.